Yo, what is up you guys? Welcome back to another video and for today's video guys We have absolutely just crazy Roblox news to get to today Like how you guys can now deactivate your Roblox account or even delete it like holy crap finally And Roblox is now giving us maximum frame rates to use which is like the, the most needed Roblox update in forever But before we start today's video guys, I'm about to ask if we can hit 30 likes on this video Because if we get 30 likes on this video, everybody watching this video, I'm not even joking when I say this, we'll get a Bugatti in their garage. Like, it will just teleport in your garage, dude. Like, a but anyways, let's get on to today's video. So the first thing I do want to go over for today is how users can now deactivate their Roblox account. So as you can see here from Block C News, the users now have the ability to deactivate the Roblox account. While deactivated, your profile will be hidden and you will not be able to use Roblox. Note that this is different from deleting your account. You can reactivate your account at any time. So yeah, basically, you know, you know the difference between deactivating and deleting your Roblox account. So if you were to deactivate your Roblox account, it's going to be hidden from roblox like as if your profile never existed like it's just hidden and you can't you know log into it and play you have to reactivate it to do so so that's the difference like if you were to delete your roblox accounts good luck getting it back because roblox cannot even help you on getting your roblox account back if you were to choose to delete your roblox accounts so it's a very you know good recommendation to just deactivate your Roblox account instead of deleting it because it's a huge risk. Like, you don't know, dude. Like, you just don't want to delete your Roblox account and find out that, you know, your Roblox account is worth like thousands of dollars because of the limited items you might have. So it's just better to deactivate it. Um, but anyways, uh, yeah, Roblox is, yeah, finally listening to us and giving us this ability. Uh, so yeah, let me know down below in the comments on your thoughts about this. Uh, me personally, I think this is a great feature. You know, uh, you know, it's a great feature because sometimes people just want to be hidden from, from social media. So this is a great opportunity for that. But anyways, let's get on to our next news for today. And that is now you can use maximum frame rate on Roblox. So as you can see here for Bloxy News, you can now natively adjust your maximum frame rate on Roblox to 60, 120, 144, or 240 FPS without using any third party programs. So yeah, this is an awesome update. Like, it, oh my God, dude, freaking finally Roblox is giving us freaking maximum frame rate over 60 FPS. Like, holy dude, you, I have no idea on how many times I've been asking Roblox and just in general been waiting for Roblox to be finally adding maximum frame rate. Like, oh dude, it, it, it's honestly crazy. And I know a lot of you guys rock, were also waiting so I know a lot of you guys are really happy to see this and if you're to, you know, go to your menu settings, you can find it there and adjust it. Uh, but the negative side about this update is that Roblox doesn't give us the ability to put like a, a frame rate, the amount of frame rate we want. We have to use a set amount of frame rates they choose for us, like 60, 120, 144, 240. Like you can't manually put yourself the amount of frame rates you want, which I think is kind of, and I think Roblox should change that. I think Roblox should add a feature where we can manually put the amount of frame rate we want. Like I think, I think that's, I think that should be a thing. Uh, some people might want more to more than 240. Like who knows? But that's only the downside about this Roblox update. But other than that, awesome, awesome update. Uh, you don't have to use third-party programs out there. I know. This is going to sound very stupid, but I accidentally downloaded a fake Roblox third party program for unlimited FPS uh, a couple weeks ago, and I, I my computer might have got hacked. My computer might have gotten a malware, you guys. It might have gotten a malware, and my, and my Roblox accounts and my other social medias may have gotten hacked. But other than that, <laughs> other than that, uh, I got everything back. Everything is back to normal. But yeah, that was pretty embarrassing. So thankfully, Roblox gave us the ability to use maximum frame rates. So yeah, that's honestly pretty amazing. Uh, anyways, let's get on to our next news. And that is Roblox is going to be doing a, another event. So as you can see from Roblox's tweet, uh, the classic Roblox is officially complete, but stay tuned, more fun is on the way. So Roblox is hinting, more events are coming, uh, but hopefully this time it's actually a good event. Like, Roblox has been asking us for feedback, and we've been giving them feedback, okay? We've been giving them honest, good feedbacks and criticism, but it seems like Roblox isn't listening. Because, like, this Roblox classic event, like, I don't mean to be offensive or anything, but it really sucked. Like, it was really boring, really bland, and it wasn't even about old Roblox. Like, the only old Roblox was the map. 
But that's about it. The games were li literally the oldest Roblox game on this classic event was probably Beast Worm Simulator. But other than that, all the other games were made this year or last year, like Toilet Tower Defense or whatever the hell else they were. Like the games were just, I don't know, dude. It, it wasn't old Roblox games. And the quests were repetitive. Like these quests, some of these games were making us do the same quest, the same exact quest. 10 times like why why are you making me do the same quest 10 times like that makes no sense at all so the quality checks need to be improved by roblox like they need to do actual good quality checks and make sure these quests are actually good and not repetitive but yeah hopefully roblox does take our criticism and as you can see here uh please take our feedback this time this event was so hard to push through and fully complete mainly because of how dreadful it was there are so many ways you can create an enjoyable event like i can't agree more with this tweet like i agree 100 percent like this event was a letdown like roblox had so much potential to make roblox classic actually really good but instead they chose they chose they chose the route to make it freaking crappy which sucked anyways hopefully the next roblox event is actually good but other than that the classic roblox items were actually pretty cool so that's the upside but anyways you guys that is gonna be it for today's video if you have enjoyed this video today make sure to slap that like button and that red sub button to support me on my channel but anyways you guys i'll catch you guys later Peace out.